تمسكتم به لم تضلوا بعدي أبدا أيها الناس إني تارك فيكم وديعتين قيمتين وثقيلتين إحداهما القرآن والأخرى أهل البيت القرآن والعترة الحق أن البعد عن القرآن وعترتي في يد وهلاككم في اليد الأخرى الله مولاي وأنا مولى المؤمنين ألا من كنت مولاه فهذا علي مولاه اللهم والي من والاه الحمد لله رب العالمين العالمين is the plural of العالم the world which literally means what one is known with this paradigm is used for instrument like القالب the mold the form القطم the scale the instrument of sealing and الطابه the stamp the impress the word al-alam is used for the universe the whole creation taken together also it is used for each genes of species taken separately for example the inorganic world the vegetable world the animal world the human world it is also used for a class of a species like the arab world the african world etc this last meaning is more appropriate in the context of these verses the verses that enumerate the good names of allah until they come to the master of the day of judgment the judgment is reserved for mankind alone or together with the jinn therefore the worlds should refer to the worlds of the human beings and the jinn that is their various groups the word alamin the worlds has been used in this sense in other quranic verses too allah says in surah 3 ayah 42 and has chosen you above the women of the world surah 25 ayah 1 so that he may be a warner to the worlds surah 7 ayah 80 what do you commit an indecency which anyone in the worlds has not done before you <laughs> 